Hello everyone. This is a ballpoint pen. This is something without which we cannot imagine our lives right now. This is one of the most popular and widely used writing materials in the world currently. But why is it called a ballpoint pen and what does it do or what is so special about this and how did it come into existence and the main players in this industry is what we are going to see. A ballpoint pen as its name suggests has a ball at its tip or point which rotates when it is dragged across a writing surface and leaves behind ink that comes from the reservoir of the pen. Ball at this point can be of different diameters and can be made of brass, steel or tungsten carbide. This innovation changed the way how human write forever. Now, coming to the origin of this pen, trying to invent a pen which can write on leather, a tanner John J. Loud invented the first ballpoint pen and patented it in 1888 in America. This pen had a small steel ball which was placed so it could not fall out nor fall in but could still rotate freely. This invention was not commercially viable and could not be used for writing because of which the patent lapsed as time passed. After him, many tried to improve on the design but they could not deliver the ink evenly or uh, the ink overflowed or it clogged at the print of the pen. In the early 20th century, Laszlo Bayro, a Hungarian newspaper editor, tried to make a pen that would dry quickly and without smudging. He noticed that the ink used in newspaper uh, uh, printing dried quickly. So, he and his brother Georgi, who was a chemist, started experimenting on a workable pen. They combined viscous ink and a ball socket me mechanism to make a ballpoint pen that would not allow for an ink to dry out in the pen but it would still leave the mark behind when used. The first working ballpoint pen was presented by them at the Budapest International Fair in 1931. They filed for patents in France and Britain in 1938. During the World War II, in 1941, the Bayro brothers and their friend Juan Jorge Main fled to Argentina and opened their Bayro pens of Argentina a factory that made ballpoint pens and sold them in Argentina as by Rome. This ballpoint pen was licensed and made in Britain as by Rome for Royal Air Force aircrew, which used it at high altitudes as the fountain pen would leak over uh, when used at a very great height. After the Second World War, others tried to sell their ballpoint pens but with limited success. A person named Milton Reynolds saw a ballpoint when, when he was on a business trip to Buenos Aires in 1945 and when he returned to America, he redesigned it so he could obtain an American patent. His ballpoint pen manufactured in Reynolds International Pen Company and called Reynolds Rocket was the first commercially successful ballpoint pen. It was sold under the ad that said it wouldn't need refilling for 15 years. Eversharp Co., a maker of mechanical pencils, also made their own pen and started selling it. Britain saw its first commercially successful ballpoint pen in the same year made by Miles Martin Pen Company. Market soon became saturated and the Reynolds company had to eventually go out in the early 1950s. At the same time, around the 1950s, paper made pens started manufacturing and distributing their own pens in Canada by changing to their new ink formulas. Also, at the same time, Parker Pens released uh, their ballpoint pen named the Jotter, which, which used tungsten carbide textured ball in its point and was cheaper which resulted in several million pens being sold in, ju in just the first year. Ballpoint pens started to take over the world slowly, but it was a 
बैट टाइम फॉर एवर शार्प कव हुज पेन डिविजन वॉज देन सोल्ड टू पाकर पेन्स एंड द एंटायर कंपनी देन फेल अपार्ट नाइनटीन फिफ्टीज वॉज ऑल्सो द टाइम वेन मार्सेल बिक लाइसेंस द बॉल पॉइंट पेन ऑफ बायरोस एंड स्टार्ट इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इज पेन अकॉर्डिंग टू बायरोस डिजाइन दिस बॉल पॉइंट पेन्स आर नॉट रेकग्नाइज अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड दे आर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर ब्रांड्स इन द वर्ल्ड एंड दे हैव ऑल्सो बीन वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट पेन कंपनीज विच हैव सर्वाइव सिंस द स्टार्टिंग डेकेड ऑफ बॉल पॉइंट पेन्स बट बिग डज नॉट सेल इन इंडिया एंड इट डज नॉट हैव एनी मार्केट प्रेजेंस इन इंडिया बट इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन बिग बॉट सेलो इंडिया फॉर फाइव फिफ्टी क्रोड देर बाय एंट्रिंग द इंडियन मार्केट सेलो एज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट मार्केट शेयर इन इंडिया द अदर मेन प्लेयर्स इन इंडिया आर लिंक विद टेन परसेंट मार्केट शेयर एंड जी एम पेन्स अंडर द नेम रोरिटो विद फिफ्टीन टू सिक्सटीन परसेंट मार्केट शेयर at present the organized indian writing instruments market including of pens uh, marker pencils mechanical pencils whiteners is valued at 3000 crore and the uh, unorganized sector is valued at around 1000 crore so the total indian writing instruments market is valued at a whopping 4000 crore this is about the pens on earth but what about writing in space gravity does not exist in space so a conventional ball pen cannot be used in space because there is no gravity to pull the ink downwards and to spread it across the writing surface also due to the low temperatures of space the uh, normal ink solidifies because of which writing cannot happen so the rational idea at that time in the 1960s was to use pencils their tips flaked and broke off drifting in microgravity where they could potentially harm an ast- astronaut or an equipment and pencils are also flammable and these pencils were also flammable which the nasa did not like and wanted to avoid uh, flammable objects on board after the uh, apollo 1 fire in 1967 at this time paul c fisher and his company the fisher pen company reportedly invested dollars 1 million at that time to create what is now commercially known as the space pen none of this investment money came from nasa's office and all the money was put by his company in 1965 fisher patented a pen that could write upside down in frigid or roasting conditions and down to minus 50 degree fahrenheit or up to 400 degrees fahrenheit that is equal to around minus 45 degree celsius to 200 degree celsius he also claimed that it could write under water or in any other liquid if the temperature became too hot then the ink turned just into green rather than its normal blue color so it filled all the criteria which nasa was looking for and like most ball point pens fisher's pen does not rely on gravity to get the ink flowing the cartridge is instead pressurized with nitrogen at 35 pounds per square inch or 241317 newton per square meter this pressure pushes the ink towards the tungsten carbide ball at the pen tip Fisher used ink that stays on as a gel-like solid until the movement of the ball point turns it into a fluid. The pressurized nitrogen also prevents air from mixing with the ink so it cannot evaporate or oxidize. Due to all these advantages, these pens have been continuously in use since the Apollo 7 mission and have been used by every crewed person who went to space. Even now, dozens of these pens will be found in the international space station so this was all about the story of how pens came into existence and their initial competition between a few competitors this was a video which gave just the brief introduction into this topic so that is it and uh, thank you